Hey, Russell fam. In today's video, we're going to do a flip through of my father's world from 1850 to modern times. Be back in just a second. Hi, my name is Becky and welcome to our Russell's Loving Life YouTube channel. Here on this channel, we talk about homeschooling, homemaking, and everything in between. I am a homeschooling mom of two and I have been homeschooling since 2012. We also have a blog, which is russellslovinglife.com. Make sure to check that out. There, I give you tips and tricks and things that I have learned through my years of homeschooling. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that little bell notification down at the bottom. That just lets you know every time we upload a new video. And if you are a returning Russell fam, we are so glad you are back. If you are new to this channel, this is my eighth year using My Father's World. I have used the kindergarten curriculum all the way up to um, exploration to the 1850s. And this year we are doing 1850 to modern times with my oldest who is a seventh grader. And I will be using the second grade curriculum, it's second or third grade curriculum with my daughter, which is, um, adventures in U.S. history, so be looking out for that one if you are interested. But we're going to turn this camera around and I'm going to show you the flip through of all of the books and curriculum that I have. We are going to start with the teacher's manual. Sorry for the glare on that one. All right, when you open it up in the book, the first couple pages will tell you each week what you're doing for history and what you're doing for science. Just if you want to look at it at a glance, it'll tell you that all the way through week 34. And y'all know how much I love my father's world. If you have been around this channel for a while over here, it's talking about math and language arts for second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth graders. I will be doing additional videos for um, our language arts and our math that we use because I do not use the language arts and math that my father's world recommends. But here is the overview. Here's the read alouds. And here is the information that's going to be covered additional books and things that you may need that's not included in this package but if you're using my father's world you'll have most of these anyway because i have gotten in god we trust last year trials and tributes a couple years ago um, but when you buy the curriculum they are listed down as add-ons if you do not have them so you can get them There's some teaching tips. Let me move the camera a little bit more, I'm sorry. All right, and if you are teaching a second and third grader, I just can't get this camera angle right, I am so sorry. If you are teaching a second and third grader along with a seventh or seventh and eighth grader, here are the ways to adapt it to them. So you can read that right there. Here is the list of the Bible verses you are going to memorize each week. Right. And here, okay, we do a morning routine. We do not do a schedule, but if you wanted to do a schedule, my father's world provides kind of a kind of one sample one for you to go through um, that type thing, just if it works good for you. But like I've said before, schedules don't work for us. More of the routines do. All right, so we are going to get into week one. If you have never seen the inside of My Father's World, this is what you're going to do for the entire week. And see, it tells you right here for Bible, 
you're going to use um, a young person's guide to knowing God, Oops. which is this book right here. And it's telling you that you are going to read the back cover and discuss it and read these Bible verses. And this is just kind of getting into the year. Here is your spelling. It says use your handwriting. This is kind of for the younger grades so they can practice the English if you're using their English. And here is writing that you do two days a week if you use theirs. I don't. Here's your book basket. Here's if you're doing seventh and eighth grade. And it always says see notes for hints and things for you. So let me show you. Over here on the back here is for preparations and your materials, suggestions, and then once you get to Monday, this is actually what you're going to read and be ready to do for Monday on week one. It starts out kind of slow and kind of goes over everything in there. Let's jump ahead to a little more in depth. All right, so we are here, and now it's telling us that we've switched books. This is the one we're going to use. And it tells us to read and discuss Matthew, read these pages, and it says see notes. So you flip over here on Monday for see notes, and here are your notes for Monday. And there's your notes for Tuesday. And this is why I love my father's world. This is why it works so well for us. It's an open and go curriculum. I can just open this teacher's guide and go from there. So, all right, we've talked about the teacher's guide. Now let's go over to the students' worksheets. And typically what I do is I three hole punch everything here. I just have not had a chance to do that yet. And I put it in a notebook and here's our timeline pieces that we're gonna use for this year. Here's our Bible verses. There is all the postal abbreviation zip codes. If you're using the spelling, it tells you how to do spelling. Here are all of the state flags that go along with the worksheets. And what I love about the worksheets with my father's world is right here, it'll tell you we're going to start worksheets with week five on a Thursday. This is the worksheet you're going to use. I'm not going to flip through all of the worksheets. I'm just kind of going to give you a glance. Here's the periodic table of elements. There's some more of the states. And on the back of the states sheets, it tells you lots of interesting information. The capitals, abbreviations, did you know, and all facts about each state and the history of the state, which is really interesting. Some of them have funny laws on the back of them. Uh, I think one year Louisiana was, you can't walk an alligator with a, on a leash or something like that. And one state law was you can't carry an ice cream in your pocket. And it was just funny that we went over some of these, but most of those are states because we are studying um, 1850 to modern times. I'm trying to get you some different worksheets so you can see them. Here, last year, this is where we write the president's name, the year of the president, and information about the president from our presidential cards that we have. Here they are. They came in last year's curriculum. So you look at the cards. Let me find you one just so you can kind of see. All right. We studied the first 12 presidents last year so we're going to pick up with 13 through 45 on here and there is the president there is the date and then it tells you information about the president and even shows you their signature on the back of the cards which is very fun and interesting um, it tells you to tape them up here i'm not doing that because i'm going to be using this exact same curriculum with becca when she gets to seventh grade 
So I want to be able to have these again. I'll probably have to get another um, updated deck with the presidents, but, um, and you can also use them as flashcards if you wanted to and that type stuff. So that's what these pages are for. We're learning about a whole bunch of them back here. All right, let's see. Here is flashcards for the Northern States. capitals so you can match them up with their states so more than likely this is just a game I have not looked into it but that's typically what they do is fun games that way there's your north south east west and then here are these little flashcards we've had these before it has the state bird the state flower um, and you can tear them out and break them apart so that was a quick glance at all the student sheets. But it, it is much easier, I have learned over the years, to put three hole punch in here. And every time the student needs a sheet for that week, you take it out. And once they get done, I just put it in the back. And so once we used all the student sheets, the back sheets come to the front. All right, so you have seen those. Here are the deep, uh, CDs for music that we're going to be going through this year that go along with the curriculum. So, I mean, it's, it's not just hands-on worksheets. It's music. It's books. It's a lot of Charlotte Mason living books. Here are the read-alouds that we're going to be doing. You know, the older they get, there's not many pictures in there, but I did want to flip through the books just so you could see them. Sorry, I went too fast. And if you don't have um, these books like I didn't have for um, Becca's curriculum then you can just check them out at the library or you can buy them and I'm just trying to give you all a thorough thorough look at everything in here I know some of them may not be interesting but I did want you just to see the inside of everything Just doing these pretty quick. And sometimes there's lots of pictures in them like this. Which makes the reading a little more interesting. For my children at least. They love to be able to see actual pictures when they're reading things and faces and places and they can just relate to it a little better. So this one has the most pictures. Yep. All right, and one thing I am excited about this year is this is something new that they have not used in the past. It is Creation to Modern Times Timeline book which you saw the timeline pieces and they just kind of go in here. It tells you the years up here. And so what we have been doing, because creation started with Adam and Eve from the beginning, like this says, creation to modern times timeline. And the kids can color these. The younger kids may have more fun. These are the blank pages with the dates where we're gonna add stuff to them to pick up this year, which is pretty much going to be 1850 to the modern. But these are the ones we did last year. And what I have been doing, and they suggested that you put it on a wall and just kind of do a timeline. Well, having multiple children, 
doing multiple grades at different times. I started with this. <laughs> it's a trifold board. These are the states we learned about last year with Bailey. And then here is the timeline. Let me just move the camera. Here's the timeline we started with where it was Adam and Eve. And we go all the way through here. And then as we've been going through things, we've just been adding them to this board. And this is where we left off last year with Bailey with the Louisiana Purchase. So I am loving the fact, oops, sorry, loving the fact that I can put it in a book instead of having the trifold board and it's all right here for me. So this is something totally new and I am in love with it. All right, so the next thing I'm going to show you is Story of the World. We have been doing Story of the World with the My Father's World curriculum since I think we started with Volume 2 um, back in the day with Bailey. But what I'm really excited about this year is we have the workbook to go with it or activity book, whichever one you want to call it. But I love that story of the world. It has pictures in here. It puts it kind of in a story so the kids can understand it. It's not just boring history information. Sometimes history can just be boring and dry and dull, but story of the world makes it fun and interesting and puts it into words that the kids can understand and they learn so much more from this. So, it, I mean, it's still in black and white, not colored, but I love Story of the World. If you're looking for a history, definitely look into Story of the World, and it goes through different time periods, so check that out. Here is a Story of the World activity book. Again, sorry about the glare. It is also in black and white, but there's lots of activities to do in here, as you can see. So that should definitely be fun. And this Smithsonian American History book, lots of color. A lot of the books that we learn history from do have color in them and talk about different time periods. And if your child's reading it, typically it's, you know, um, two or four pages, but typically it's just two that cover one topic at a time that the children will read or you'll read with them. And it just helps them picture things better. And a lot of children these days do not know about encyclopedias. If you did encyclopedias or had encyclopedias, drop me a comment below because I know I'm getting really old when people look at me crazy when I say encyclopedias. All right, and Apologia. I love, love, love Apologia. Hands-on science. It is fun, lots of experiments. Um, I will be doing some videos and exper experiments from this book because history and science are two of Bailey's favorite things. Here's the introduction. How to use the book, the step-by-step -step guide, and then your lesson one. And typically with My Father's World, you will use science. Um, you'll do science two days a week, and they'll break this into sections instead of just covering the whole complete chapter and then once you get to the end of the chapter then there's typically the science experiment that you'll do you know try this lots of lots of fun things lots of pretty colorful pictures in here and there's a supply supply list back there sorry for each lesson which i love 
so you can go through and get everything that you're going to need for those experiments coming up or see if you already have them. But if you have not heard about Apologia, you've got to check into them for science. They are fun and amazing. So many wonderful things to say about them. Let's see, there's an experiment to tell you what you need to make a smoke bomb, grow crystals. Those are always fun. I'm not sure who has more fun with the science experiments, me or the kids. So much fun. So there is that. All right, now we are in to our states and capitals, which this is going to be fun. It comes with a CD that has all of the songs on there to memorize. It comes with the map. I'm not going to open it all the way, but it matches the capitals over here with all of the numbers so I can put it on the wall and use it and use our DVD CD to listen to all the songs on there this cookbook is going to be fun like I said in the unboxing I plan on doing some of these recipes which my kids love to cook they love learning to make new things Talks about Victorian tea. Let me get up here to the front of the book. All right, and it's talking about tools of the trade, different tools they're going to need. And here is broken down the table of contents with all the chapters. So it's not just teaching them how to make something, it's teaching them how to use all of the tools and what of all these are called. So lots of fun learning things hands-on here. And I didn't open this all the way because I, they're loose. I don't want them to go everywhere. But basically these are just blank sheets where you can test your child on all of the states and all of the capitals. So the books that do not come with this curriculum that you have to get as add-ons or if you've been using My Father's World for a while, you'll already have them. Like I mentioned earlier, here's the In God We Trust, Trials and Triumphs, Exploration, Exploring American History, and this one was black and white, but after you read it, it has lots of bleh, comprehensive questions can't talk so that one's a good one and then the last 500 years has lots of pretty pictures in here so that is everything all the flip throughs for this curriculum I hope you found this video to be helpful. If there's another book you want to look at more in depth or worksheets or anything you have a question about, drop it down in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to answer it. As always, remember to be kind, be careful, be considerate, and have a great day. Bye.